I'm so grateful that you're having this. It's hard for me to do it today, but I'm, I know that this has to get out. Nothing was going to stop Carrie Harmon and her husband Jason from traveling from their home state of Alaska to Los Angeles once they learned of UCLA's new music therapy study for dementia patients. I've been looking at research all over the world and this is really at the forefront. I think it started probably about 2016. Carrie says it was in her late 40s. Despite having no family history of dementia, she started experiencing language and memory problems and nighttime hallucinations, most often associated with Lewy body disease, like Alzheimer's, a form of dementia. You've been married 26 years. You think your spouse seeing spiders isn't that big of a deal. <laughs> but that move from spiders to cats to other things. Eventually, Carrie, now 56 and diagnosed with dementia with Lewy bodies, had to quit her job as a billing specialist because the numbers that once came so easily just didn't anymore. That was um, difficult for me because I feel um, that I don't have much, much stuff to do for anybody else. I like to help but my body doesn't let me do it. Are you comfortable? Yeah. But there's new hope in these headphones for this wife and mother of two. What is the power of music? Well, music has a way of engaging parts of the brain that are not accessible through other means. UCLA's Easton Center for Alzheimer's Research Music Study, the brainchild of Dr. Keith Vossel. He's studying patients over 50, some healthy, others like Carrie, experiencing mild to moderate dementia symptoms. The goal? To see if this music stimulation can actually improve cognitive functions. The music therapy, paired with light stimulation, lasts one hour. Ideally, a patient will undergo daily sessions over six months or longer. The patient is wired with electrodes, 23 in Carrie's case, allowing Dr. Vossel and his team to record and monitor the brain waves as the patient listens to music. These are kind of the, the brain waves that we typically see in people when they're awake. Perhaps what strikes a chord most with patients, the study is free and the patients get to choose their playlist. Carrie's includes Journeys, Don't Stop Believing, and judging by her initial readings, the Harmons shouldn't. Dr. Vossel explains the smaller, tighter the brain waves like Carrie's, the better. This is a sign that uh, her brain is still functioning quite well. Good news for the Harmons and the millions of others suffering from Alzheimer's, the most common form of dementia. According to the Alzheimer's Association, more than 6 million Americans of all ages have Alzheimer's. In the U.S., someone is diagnosed with it every 65 seconds. And in L.A. County alone, 180,000 people are living with it or another dementia. And that number is expected to double in the next decade. She can kind of feel empowered that, you know, she has the hardware intact. While the Harmons may not yet have concrete answers, they now have hope in the sound of music that may just make their journey a little more comfortable. Do you feel a sense of excitement now that you're here and more hope? Yes, for sure. Marla tells us that Carrie is back home in Alaska. She's waiting on some other test results to decide if she's going to take part in the daily music therapy study. Again, the study is free, and if you'd like more information, head to foxla.com.